Let's look at the analytic geometry of a straight line on the plane, the 2D case. The slope intercept form of the line. The equation y equal to mx plus c is the slope intercept form of a straight line on a plane. m is called the slope of the line and c is the intercept of the line on the y-axis. As shown in this picture, the line with blue color is making an angle theta with the x-axis and its y-intercept is minus 1. The slope m of the line is computed as tan of the angle theta and the intercept here in this example is minus 1. So that the equation of this line is y equal to 0.5x minus 1. Likewise, the red line has y-intercept equal to 1 unit and uh, the green line also has the y-intercept as 1 unit and the equations of those two lines respectively are y equal to 2x plus 1 and y equal to 0.x plus 1. So basically, we need to look at the angle the line makes with the x-axis. The tan at the angle defines the slope of the line and the intercept the line makes with the y-axis is the is the constant c which appears in the equation y equal to mx plus c. So this is called the slope intercept form of a straight line on the plane. Let's look at the normal form of the line. We have to describe the equation of the line q q prime. From the origin we drop a perpendicular onto the line q q prime. The perpendicular is always unique for a line from a given point and the length of perpendicular is p in this case. Also the perpendicular makes theta degrees with the abscissa with the x-axis. Now to describe the equation of line in the normal form the perpendicular which we dropped onto the straight line is called normal to the straight line. So take an arbitrary point p x y with uh, x y coordinates so from this diagram, O m prime is x and P m prime is y. They are the coordinates of the point P. Also, upon dropping a, a line perpendicular from m prime to the line OQ, we get m m prime is parallel to Q Q prime. Therefore, we can write the following two equations. Cos theta as O m by x. Theta is this angle. This angle happens to be 90 minus theta. So cos theta is adjacent side, which is OM, by hypotenuse, which is X. Likewise, cos 90 minus theta is sine theta, so is adjacent side, which is MQ, divided by Y. So that X cos theta plus Y sine theta is P. This is called the normal form of the line. Now let's look at the vector equation of a line. The equation of, uh, of line PQ is to be obtained. So let R be the position vector of any point on the line. A point A is given on the line. So its vector is OA. So OA is a vector which is uh, ending on the line PQ. And a unit vector along the line is also given. N hat is the unit vector along the line. QP. QP is the vector. Okay. So the r vector is oa plus lambda times n hat. Lambda is any real number. So that the vector equation of the line is r equal to oa plus lambda times n hat. This is the vector equation of the line. Now the intercept form of the line. The x-intercept is a units and the y-intercept is b units. We need to describe the equation of the line nm. The line NM makes an x-intercept of A units so that the coordinate of point M is A0. Likewise, the coordinate of point N is 0B. Under these conditions, with these parameters given, the equation of the line may be written as x by A plus y by B equal to 1. This is called the intercept form of the line because the A and B are the x and the y intercepts respectively. The two-point form of the line. So we're given two points, P and Q, whose coordinates are given as x1, y1 and x2, y2. And we have to describe the equation of the line SS prime. Let R be an arbitrary point on the line with coordinates x, y. So when we drop perpendiculars onto x and y axes from these two, with these three points, P, Q and R, we have 
mark the lengths of each of the segments on the abscissa and the ordinate formed by these perpendicular lines dropped from these three points. So this r prime q prime is x2 minus x, p prime r prime is x1 minus x1, x minus x1 and so on. So the under these conditions the equation of the line ss prime may be written as y minus y1 by x minus x1 equal to y2 minus y by x2 minus x which is here. So we when we subtract the coordinates we follow the this arrowhead final minus initial. So y minus y1 by x minus x1 equals y2 minus y by x2 minus x.